Texas Manufacturing, it's a division of Linamar Corporation, and it's a company which produces uh, precision machining automotive components. The problem we initially had was that the working envelope of Equator 300 could not reach the measurement of the 11 mm bolt holes used to assemble our part, the front support, to its mating assembly component. It was required to implement a long conventional L-shape assembly styly to be able to reach these holes. When Linux approached us with the challenges they were having with an equator application and the stylus that they were using, we decided to look at added manufacturing to come up with a monolithic design for the stylus to help us uh, improve the measurement quality coming off the equator. Uh, some of the things we had to look at in that process was we needed to maintain a specific weight for the stylus. We also looked at, the, we had to take into consideration the stiffness of the stylus uh, with the triggering. Uh, we then printed uh, multiple variations of the styli. Uh, we then machined those on our five axis uh, to mount them into the equator. Uh, we then looked at testing the styli against the original design in order to benchmark and validate that the new monolithic design was actually more robust and uh, repeatable than the original. The equator system is very flexible and can support multiple styli, including custom styli. After the custom styli was printed, we found that the repeatability had greatly improved. There are multiple benefits of the new style design, and I will name few of them. No frequent adjustments and or probe calibration required due to its robust design approach. Accuracy and repeatability results within acceptable limits. Stability, accuracy over the time, maintained within 5% limit. And no frequent production interruptions with effect of loss of productivity. Within short time, Renishaw team, they've done their homework and came up with a new 3D printed style design, which proved to be a robust design from one piece with no attached components. 